Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with some AP Physics 1, um, some kinematic problems. So we've moved beyond, as a reminder, we've moved beyond um, simple AP Physics free response questions, and I'm just doing a poll of different kinematics uh, questions that I can find that are challenging. So these are not necessarily AP Physics 1 problems. But um, you should be able to do it if you're um, if you want to have a full mastery and a good like it's just good practice to do these kinds of harder problems. OK, so um, I encourage you to pause the screen and try to do the problem yourself and then come back to the video um, when you've at least tried or struggled or, or just to check to see if you got it right. So this is a two-part projectile motion. A ball is thrown up onto a flat horizontal roof. The ball lands on the roof at the highest point of its path then rolls across the roof and falls off the other side. Ignore friction and what we've learned about rotational energy. Call the initial speed V naught and the angle theta and use L for the length of the building. Find the time between when the ball is thrown and when it lands on the far side in terms of the variables above. Okay? So, it's two parts. It has this part here, it has this part here, and it has th this part here. So it's like three parts, right? So I want to find the time um, it it's it's in each of these motions, okay. So let's see. Um, for the up and like if if this L was nothing, it would just go up and down. So the time to rise and fall is or well, we'll do the maximum height. What's time to the maximum height? Um, uh, maximum height is when the final velocity in the vertical direction is zero. So I'm gonna do this in the y direction equations. Okay, and I choose y direction because the vertical direction is what's going to tell me when I've reached the maximum height. Okay, now um, what I know in the y direction is at this point, vy is equal to zero, right? Because the at the maximum point, it's not moving up anymore. It's at the it's at the peak, so vy equals zero. So I'm, I'm thinking this equation: vf squared is equal to v naught squared plus two a delta x. Um, no, actually, that wouldn't help us because I'm trying to find the time. So I'm thinking, let's see, what's the other equation? Oh, VF is equal to V naught plus AT. Okay. So I know this is zero. The initial velocity, because we said it here, the, the, the velocity in the y direction is zero. The initial velocity in the y direction is V naught sine theta. It's this v, like the initial velocity this way. This is v not sine theta. That's the initial vertical velocity. And then a, if this is positive, if, if I'm going to say up is positive, then this is negative 9.8, or we'll just we'll do it to negative g times t. So the time to go to this maximum height is given by um, move the g t over here. I get v not sine theta. So t to rise is v naught sine theta over g. Okay. Turns out the time to fall is the same because here it, it, it's there's symmetry in here. So really, like the time to fall, like the time here is v naught sine theta over g, and this time to fall is also the same. Okay. So the time here is an interesting one. It's how how much time is it going to spend sliding across this frictionless roof of a distance L? Well, this is an x di direction problem, right? Because L is in the x direction. So now I'm going to look at the x direction at the top. In the top, his x direction, um, we could say the delta, we could use this equation, equals v naught t plus 1 half at squared. Delta x is his translation. It's a change in position in the x direction. That would be L. V naught t, well, his initial velocity in the x direction is the same as it was when it started here because there's no acceleration in the x direction. So this is V naught cosine theta times t. And again, because there's no acceleration in the x direction, this is just plus 0. So I can solve for this time is equal to L over V naught cosine theta. Okay, so if I sum the three times, I have 2 v naught sine theta over g. That's the rise and the fall time, plus L over v naught cosine theta. Um, 
and that's it. Do I have the units right? Let's see, meters per second, meters per second squared. So this is in seconds. This is meters, meters per second. This is also in, meter, in seconds. So good. So I hope you guys uh, found that helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.